Okay, so hi guys, uh, here we are in Kobe, and we're just about to enter the Kawasaki Good Times Roll, which is basically like a church for me. So once we're inside, I'll show you some of the displays they've got, some of the great bikes that they have on display uh, permanently here. I hope there's a Kawasaki ZZR 1100. There is sometimes, maybe not today, but we'll see. Okay, let's go inside. <laughs> Okay, so this logo some of you may recognize because a lot of the present day H2 and so carry this logo as standard. It was the initial logo for the Kawasaki Shipping Company. Um, dropped for many years in regards to motorcycles, but now back on the H2 and some other motorcycles. Okay, okay so here we have a history all the way through the Kawasaki from the 1910 to each of the different phases. And down below you can see various different bits and pieces that were built, including an aircraft carrier during the Second World War. So again, it's all really nicely laid out and uh, we'll follow it around. I want a Kawasaki fan. <laughs> Okay, so here you get to the 1970s. There, for white covers is the start of the Kawasaki reputation, really. Two thirds of red. But here we have, they call it the 900 Super 4. We know it in the West as the amazing Z1. Um, you can see also up here, Kawasaki built the original bullet train. And um, again, this little motorcycles, various places, aircraft. Really, there's not much that Kawasaki have not made. For those of you from the UK, you will know about um, uh, the tunnel between uh, France and UK. Well, I never knew actually. The tunnel boring machine was made by Kawasaki. Wow.
All right, so now we're inside the main motorcycle park. You got the H2, which is all stripped down to show you what it looks like. Further along, again, the H2 with a beautiful cut down of the engine. And here, here we have the bike, the Kawasaki Z1, which it even has period correct tires on it. it. My God, what a beautiful machine that is. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, here we have the six cylinder KZ1300, which was a, an interesting bike. An interesting bike. Uh, at the time, I had the CBX uh, 1000 six cylinder Honda, but this was the water cooled one. And uh, again, pretty rare these days, but beautiful condition. Shinya Nicano's bike in Court Ballington going back to the 70s, so uh, amazing. Let's see what else. Okay, so we've got lots of the older bikes, particularly from the 60s. The 350 Kawasaki twin cylinder two stroke, I remember those. Okay, racing Kawasaki here. But wow, the 750 two stroke, the Mac 4, wow. I remember those. Okay, here we've got, again, some bikes, particularly from the 80s, 90s, KZ900. And here we have another absolutely beautiful Z1. I mean, it's just gorgeous. That color scheme. Oh, I want it. But it would cost a great deal of money. So here we have Jonathan Ray's uh, winning bike from the World Superbike Championship. And that's his helmet. Of course, Arai. These are two bikes I would love to get hold of. But you can very rarely find them in their original condition. And indeed, this one has a Kirker exhaust, a 1000R, which um, is not standard, but the rest of it is. It's beautiful. And this one, the ZXR 750. And comfortable to ride? Absolutely. Does it hurt your back? Absolutely. Is it fantastic fun? Absolutely. Here we have the Z650. I haven't seen one of these uh, original ones since the early 1970s. Um, I mean, it's a beautiful looking bike designed very similar to the Z1. And uh, it's certainly very rare to see one of these these days. Okay, so two of them, two of the bikes that are uh, currently on sale, the 900, um, and also we have the 650, which is a twin. Again, very big in some markets. This is the one you've seen on TV, the Johnny Ray Rider and the World Superbike. This is actually the bike. You see the worn seat. <laughs> 